What's going on everybody? It is Milbro back with things uh, once again. We have more. I've uh, I've just been working on just putting rebar frames overnight and then just uh, working on more of the you know, installing this more and more. It's like getting close to the point where I can, I think I can start you know, like uh, seeing the seeing the surface seeing the surface blocks so it's like really not too much longer now it's just like uh fangs got down with his main staircase in his base so he's getting closer um what are you working on now fangs uh got i'm thinking about going down a few more blocks just to have a nice even amount mm. uh, just one more uh two more blocks maybe just patching up some walls here you know like with the uh, concrete you know I know it's not the best thing to do you guys but I'm um, like this is gonna get covered up by concrete anyways it's not gonna the aesthetics to me are not really gonna matter but these were like the holes where the spires were trying to dig in yeah you can literally see like we're going like like I want to say like another seven and seven blocks up after this layer concrete's done I um, actually need to actually need to start Digging this up here. So, apologies for the for the auger noise. <laughs> if it's loud, but uh, that looks a bit better. Yeah, you can see that top block's there. That top block there is just literally the. That's literally the surface, and I just gotta mine all that out, and then get all the concrete going so I'm not gonna bore you guys with another time lapse right away but you know I just want to I just want to focus on getting this all done and everything like that and you know like in case something like interesting interesting combo pops up you know I'll put it in the episode if you know, like while I'm upgrading so I will hopefully have this done pretty quick and you know cut to it and you know we'll come back so See you folks in a little bit. Well folks, good news. I have just finished up upgrading the, the upgrade the walls all the way up to concrete, you know, in the in the spear pit. This is you know, that took a lot of time and I'm happy that it's finally done. It's taken over a day of progress, but hey, I'm I'm happy that this is just finally over with. It's like uh, now we don't have to worry about the zombies breaking in, and it's like, uh, once uh, Fangs gets his, uh, um, basement dug out a little bit, I'm gonna dig out a tunnel, a tunnel like, you know, going into, like, kind of just going into, uh, his, uh, going from his basement over, just kind of connect to the screw base. Uh, so, but that'll be a few, that'll be a future project, and there is an airdrop from yesterday that I wanted to go grab, and we do have a couple, like, very minor projects to do for for um, upgrading and all that stuff. And like uh, Fangs wanted to get his um, wanted to install a couple drawbridges, like uh, you know, bridging the spikes over to the uh, you know, like to his bases as another access way. But we're gonna go get the airdrop. I'm not gonna cut this. Oh, I forgot about some rebar frames, but we're not gonna worry about those. But. I'm just happy that that project's done over with, with a, cause like, I just kinda wanted to knock that out, it's like, I'm not upgrading that anymore, I'm like, that would just be way too much of a, of a hassle, like, upgrading it to, uh, steel and then, then stainless steel with the shaving cream, but, you know, I do want to say, though, you know, like, if you do, if you made this far into the video and, like, you, you enjoy what you're seeing, you want to see more from me, you know, please leave, uh, like a comment maybe a subscribe down below it really helps me out like with my little journey here you go getting close to 100 subscribers uh at 89 currently oh hey would you look at that it's a full sniper rifle sniper rifle stock and and one uh, one additional round outside of the mag full magazine i get out of the sniper rifle not not too bad of an airdrop that's just kind of funny though it's like Thankfully the sniper rifles don't come unloaded, but it's like, I, I would just be like, if I was starting out and got that sniper rifle and it was just like, all I got was one round, I would be like, are you kidding me? 
Not like how many rounds we have right now. Yeah. yeah. So we're just kind of trying to give a short little drive over to the, you know, Short little drive over, and I'm almost. I basically have gotten stuck in a, I'm stuck in a little divot in the ground. Great. Um, try, try and get you. Try and get it. Uh, get unstuck here, folks, because there's stuff in this mini bike that I can't. I can't get it out with like you know just picking the frame up. And I would like to not have to make 50 trips over. Um, you know what? We'll just scrap a little bit of stuff and. Oh, brother. Um, apologies for this. Trying, trying to figure this out. Um, we'll just back the mini bike up and. Ah, yes. The the game thought I was placing a. A rebar frame next to like being supported by a blade of grass and it collapsed. That that little misplace of a frame really gets gets on my nerves sometimes. Like like ah oh, yes, you were thinking you were thinking about not doing this. Here, let me just not do physics for you, or let me just place it where you don't want it. Waste your frame. Um, ah, screw it, guys. I'm gonna. Actually, just drop that, and I thought I was hearing Vegas' uh, auger going off from all the way over here. It was. I'm like, why am I hearing an auger off in the distance? Uh, give me one second, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, folks, I'm back. I'm just putting the mini bike back together really quick here. Just that had that little mishap of a you know like uh, one of those annoying little things I didn't want to like, give you that little bore of a you know just you uh, have to deal with me struggling on a on a and getting it out of a hole so alright we're back we're, we're back in action and and uh, I'm actually going to just get the mini bike parked up oh, Mikey's outside my base yeah, we'll we'll take care of him in just a second. Why am I glad mini bikes don't do damage to blocks on this version? Otherwise, I would have done a bunch of damage to them to one of my vending machines. And I'm hungry again. We'll deal with we'll deal with your hunger in a second. You know what? We're just let me just buy some food. Might as well. And. Don't mind, don't mind me, guys. Just gotta deal with my needy character. Because they're cold. <laughs> and the thing is, I don't even have a... I don't even have an Aelmhide poncho. I could drink some coffee to help help get, get warmer. Alright. We're really putting this money to good use. Basically, never have to worry about food again with these winning machines. And not, mm -hmm. a, not able to... Not able to completely buy out the vending machines because I only had a small stack on me, but... There's another little stack. Okay. Sorry about this, guys. Okay. I like clearing out some vending machines once in a while, so. Um, pasta. So, while I'm down in cans, we'll, we'll we'll take care of Mikey in just a second. I'll need to get a coat, so. Mikey, one second, buddy. I'll let me just get my coat on, and I'll and I'll and I'll get to you. Come on. No, it's, and I'll blow out your brains. <laughs> I mean, it's true, but... <laughs> Alright, character, I got you a... I got you a puffer coat, now shut up. Alright. Time to start just... It's downing more chicken soup. 
Like, I already went through like nine cans of pasta. Mikey. Go away. There you go, good man. Alright, there we go. And now it's just time to grab a crap ton of steel. <laughs> and then, once I'm done with that, I gotta go to reinforce steel. <laughs> Well, with all and that, I gotta uh, start grabbing torches. With with that uh, sorted out, folks, uh, I still have the, some of the parts in, but time to start figuring out uh, Fags's uh, you know, little dropper scenario. Uh, you gonna come take a look at how my base is going? Oh, I, I forgot about that. My apologies, Fangs. Yeah, I was going to take a look after I got done, but then I got sidetracked with the airdrop and everything. Uh, Alright, let's take a look, folks. I've been told that uh, don't come down too fast, otherwise uh, broken legs will be had. Oh no, that was a while ago. I already I got all the stairs done. Alrighty, let's see what you got here. Thankfully I can squeeze past you. Woo! This is quite... I'm quite deep. <laughs> He's got like seven, seven steel vault doors uh, going here. And it's like or four. Yeah, it's like he's got all this. And wow, this is incredible. Go, just we're just going down, down, down to the bottom of the sea. It goes Might down be. seven times, seven turns. And it goes down like uh, three blocks each time, so 21 yep. blocks down. Actually, no. 40 something. Oh right, yeah. I was talking about the staircase itself. That's what I mean. And with that one staircase, it goes down 40 blocks. Wow. 48 to be exact, because that's how many stair blocks there are. That is incredible. Just gonna squeeze past you real quick while I try to figure out your draw bridges. <laughs> and uh, I I forgot to show you guys in the previous episode. Like, yeah, this is all the forges Fangs has. He's got plenty of forges. Oh, and there's a screamer, uh, hanging out. And there'll be more. <laughs> yeah, once uh, Fangs gets all the wood, uh, it'll there, there will be uh, screamers a plenty. Oh, there's a. Uh, Due to my stupidity of forgetting about the uh, the, the drawbridge, there was a screamer on fire. Hmm. Now she's jumping up and down at your forge. Fun. Yeah, she caught she caught fire from your forges. I didn't even know. Oh, they could actually you know, do that while they're. Oh, you're making the upstairs ones too. Yeah. I only have one forge well, on. Now we, now we got a screamer horde rolling in. Uh, actually raise up the drawbridge. Oh, the, <laughs> the, what, there, there was a nurse like uh, that was just barely getting onto the drawbridge and then she dropped into the pit. <laughs> like, nope, sorry, can't can't give you that. Uh, we'll, we'll deal with them, of course, here. Um, let me see if I can actually jump the gap. Uh, no, that was, that was a negative. Oh, I guess I'll stay over here. Uh, I mean, of course, screamers will take care of themselves, so, you know, usually with their, their shenanigans, uh, but, uh, you know, gotta have a little bit of zombie fighting somehow, folks. Take care of you, and... I'm really half tempted to add a pin into these b doors just cause. And the Say pin's it. just gonna be really simple. Say that again? Add a pin, uh, a password to the doors. Oh, I thought, you, I thought you said you were gonna add 10 more doors. Oh like... no, I'm planning on doing something like that, so. Yeah, there's a, there's a cop down here in your pit. You need me to help in unleashing rounds? Uh, I, f I found a cop. And I just don't want him exploding. There we go, he's dead. You were worried about when you have an AK. 
Well, I'm saying if he takes too much damage from the spikes and don't find him in time. It's mm. coming up on it's coming up on nighttime, uh, uh, folks. But uh, yo, know, like, I'll give you the dimensions here. Like, we'll go through the dimensions here for all the, uh, you know, just for laying out Fangus drawbridge, real drawbridge entrance in the scenario. So, um, I think we we're at 3:31. So. So we're down to 310 blocks, my rebar frames. So just to give me an idea, we'll take them all away. This gives me an idea. So 310 plus going up to yeah, 331 blocks. So it's a it's a 21 block gap. That's just that's just which is ag actually. Basically spot on with uh, Fangs's uh, Fangs's little aisle for uh, when you're not including all the bars. So, gonna do some calculations every night. You know, like I'll have the drawbridges installed for you folks. Uh, so, but I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed. If you made it this far, please leave a like, comment, down, and subscribe below, and you know, it helps the channel out so much. Have a good one. Take care.